Va a ser un gran día. Number 38. Memorial Day is a national holiday celebrated the last Monday of May to honor those who have died in military service. It's a day of remembrance. People celebrate with parades and picnics and gatherings at cemeteries. The poppies are known as a symbol of Memorial Day because they were the first flowers that bloomed on the worn, torn battlefields of Europe. Memorial Day marks the beginning of the summer season. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Live from Cave Creek, Arizona, it's that painting show starring the color queen. Zinc. Welcome back to That Painting Show, day number 38. And today we are celebrating Memorial Day with a show about painting poppies. But first, Captain John, who is today's lucky duck? Lucky duck is Giovanna from Arizona. Airmail. <laughs> Oh, the lucky duck doesn't fly very well, does he? Here you go. Jovanna from Arizona says, I love your videos, but especially Captain John's hats. Well, thanks, Jovanna. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. And the outfits. We do have to go to the summit. Some trouble to dress up like bulls. <laughs> so... A poppy is a beautiful, simple flower. It has only a few petals, but very bold in color. There are California poppies, there are European poppies. California ones are the ones that are kind of more petite. We see here in Arizona, it's kind of yellow and orange. Uh, the ones that are mo most well known for um, Memorial Day, however, are the red poppies, as were on made famous in Flanders Fields. I believe that was the, the poem, I can't remember by whom, but um, it was it was a, uh, a poem about... That, the, uh, who was that? Oh, it was John McRae. Oh, I don't remember John McRae. John McRae, the Flanders Fields. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and paint uh, a poppy. It was inspired in World War I, by the way. The poem. Correct. Okay. Flanders Fields. Well, poppies are wildflowers. And, uh, they, like I said, they have very simple, simple petals, known for their bright, bold colors. I'm using cadmium red. And I added a little bit of cadmium yellow, or excuse me, cadmium red light, which is a good highlight color for cadmium red. Because if you add white to cadmium red, you're going to get a pink. So if you do, um, if you want to lighten red to show a highlight on a red flower, it's better to just use a little bit lighter version of the red. And this happens to be cadmium red light. Once I get these blocked in here. You see I'm using a nice wide brush because I'm try trying to apply a lot of heavy paint. I'm also trying to have my strokes follow the contour of the petals. So you can see, I know that the petals are curving, so I want my strokes to curve. If my strokes were to go straight up and down, then they wouldn't indicate the curvature of the petal. So go ahead and put on the first coat however you want and then have your next strokes follow the curvature. Okay here I have a real easy question. Uh -huh. What the uh, Memorial Day was first recognized on what date? It's actually pretty hard. Boy I have no idea. Try, try 1868. Wow. Really? After the Civil War. After the Civil War. Was that just in the United States or all over the world? No, that was just the uh, United States. And again, it was the last Monday in May of each year. Okay, so here's the, it's very subtle, but I'm putting this 
lighter red. Can you see that? Can you see it's lighter up at the tips of the tops of the petals? Yes. Can you see it? Oh, good. Yes. See how it's just, I'm adding light up here? Because all light comes from above, um, natural light comes from above. And so the tops of each of these petals is going to be catching that, that highlight. I'm going to try to catch the tops of all of these petals. Now here's one that no one would, could imagine, the uh, National Movement of Remembrance. It takes place at what time each Memorial Day? Three o'clock. You got it. <laughs> I read that too. <laughs> okay, I was just tricking you. I, I, should have, I should have said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's three o'clock, do you? Uh, no. I, like cocktail hour or something. <laughs> cocktail hour. A little early, but on the holidays, who knows? Now, okay. who, who credited with creating Memorial Day? I do not know. He's a general, and uh, it's a tough name. Not Lee. John Logan. Logan? Never heard of him. But I wasn't very good in history. You were good in history, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Now here's taps. You all know can say that, sing that, write it, or read it, or it's really very effective. And uh, when was taps written? What year? I don't well, know. You, you can imagine. Eight, 1862. Now who would get that? Uh, just a, a student of history. Yeah. God. And war history. Military history which I am none of the above. This is the underside, actually even the center of a, um, we're looking at the, at the poppy from the side, not down inside. But if you look down into a poppy, it has a very black center. So some of that center can be seen from the side and the underside. They have a very, very slender um, stem. And also little tiny, little tiny petals. The, um, the stem is a very light, kind of a yellowish green. As you can see, I sketched this first with my white chalk pencil. That makes it easy to paint if you sketch it first. Even if it's just a rough sketch, just so you can kind of see where where your composition is going, you know, your arrangement of the elements on the canvas. You want to know what it's going to look like. Because guess what? If you don't like it, when you've sketched it in white chalk pencil, you can erase it very easily. Much more easily than you can if you're using ch uh, black chalk or vine charcoal. Those are really difficult to, cle um, to clean off. But white chalk is easy. These are the uh, buds. They're funny looking. They look like um, th they're uh, a little kind of cylindrical shape with a uh, looks like kind of a like a little funny pie tin shaped top which is full of seeds. This is what's left when the flower falls off. Okay, so they tend to tip over. And here, this is what's left. This is a little seed pod, little cylindrical. And on the top, it's kind of black and white. I'll just add a little bit of the the top to it. So if you haven't painted flowers before, try painting a poppy or a daisy because they're single layer, uh, ooh, excuse me, single layer flowers. Okay, I have one more. Here's really easy. Uh, which historical monument 
was dedicated on Memorial Day in 1922. It's uh, don't know. Was located in Washington, and uh, he's over there with uh, Tommy Jefferson and who else? Uh, Abe Abraham Lincoln. You got it. Okay. Yeah, very good. Uh, what year was it? 1922, the Lincoln Memorial was dedicated. Okay, so rough version of a poppy from the side. Go ahead and try painting a poppy sometime. You'll enjoy it because it's simple to paint. Today we have some specials, we have some sales. Um, two sales actually, hot summer sales we're calling them. Oldies but goodies is one of them. I have come into possession of some um, some paintings that belonged to clients who had to move away or downsize, and they're wonderful paintings, some of my favorites, and I am putting them on a half price sale. So I only have a few of them. One of them happens to be Rhapsody in Blue. I love this painting. It's 48 inches square and has some wonderful pumpkin and rust colors in it along with those beautiful blues. Another one is Rusty Prickly Pear. This is a, an elegant piece with uh, some nice dark background and um, real earthy type flower colors. And I don't know if you can see this other one, but it's an orange prickly pear. Uh, it's 36 by 48. It too is half price. So half price, that means this is 5700 instead of 11000 Wow, this one is uh, 3300 instead of 66 And then the orange prickly pear is on sale for 43 So we're going to have these in our newsletter, images of them with all the dimensions in case you're interested. But those are our oldies but goodies, if you will. I must be feeling theatrical today. Oh, boy, you're looking good. <laughs> Thanks, this is my uh, good witch hat, or wig. Also, in stock prints, declay prints. We have several that are in stock. One of them over here is called OB oh, Joyful. It's a big one, 45 by 65. This is another declay print, um, Morning Light, 30 by 40. This is, uh, love that red, 30 by 40. And this one's been embellished, and also uh, a free frame on that one. They're all 25% off, but just those are 25% off because those are in stock. And if you're interested, it's first come, first serve. So send us an email, Beth at BethZinkArt.com or give us a call, 480-980-3848 and tell us you're interested in seeing them in person or having them brought to your home. And um, we'll see if we can have you be part of our hot summer sale. Well, last but not least, we always have our pearls of wisdom. And today's are, today's is from Calvin Coolidge. He, he said, have some great quotes. This one is in keeping with the holiday. And he says, no person was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what he gave. So to all of uh, us who have family and uh, friends and um, loved ones that we can honor on this Memorial Day, we say um, goodbye. Cheers, thanks for joining us and um, see you next time. Take care.